This is Glenn DeLakian reporting for WAMDA. I'm here with Sammy Bengarbia from Nawat. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you very much. For Thanks so much for speaking with us today. I was wondering if you can sort of explain Nawat to our, our viewers um, and how Nawat got started. Well, Nawat, which means in Arabic, uh, the core, um, it's a collective blog where we provide a platform in which uh, uh, activists, uh, dissidents, um, human rights NGOs, etc., can, can publish their views, communiques, uh, opinions and comments uh, on debates that uh, concerns political life in Tunisia. It started in 2004 in, in the diaspora. We, we were uh, two people who started it, uh, and then it grew up. Um, it was very, I mean, influential in the way, at least, of politicizing the, the, the a part of the Tunisian internet. Uh, raising awareness about human rights abuses, uh, campaigning using new information technology to, to broadcast a message uh, for human rights, supporting democracy in the country. Uh, after the revolution, we came back to the country and we turned uh, uh, the blog into uh, an NGO with, with, with the staff and many other projects. Very interesting. How, do, how has the Tunisian diaspora been involved? Are they more active, you would say, than citizens in Tunisia, or is it sort of equal? Uh, on the political aspect, they were instrumental and, and crucial for the uh, politicizing of the Tunisian internet. Those who were living uh, within the country, they were afraid. Uh, many have been using pseudonym to, to, to write critical and voice their concern about the situation. Uh, many have been arrested because of that. Uh, so, but all the platforms, the blogs, the websites, they were based abroad because from Tunisia uh, it was hard, almost impossible to run a website from within the country because of security issues, technically and, and, and uh, real threats. So the diaspora was quite instrumental in building the first website of opposition, then of independent grassroots dissident website. They were also born in the diaspora. And they, 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 they hired the level of the critics that, uh, that we've witnessed from uh, the, the local Tunisian internet. And then they, they emerged to within one movement. Starting from 2008, they, they became one ent entity uh, unified against an enemy. Yeah. So this is sort of a more abstract question, but how do people turn generally from online social media organizing to regular physical protest tactics? Uh, most of the time, I think it's important to have like one feet on the ground, one feet online, and you connect the two words. You are activist on the ground, you are part of an NGO, part of a group of grassroots uh, movement, and then you, you um, reflect that on your writing or on your blogging or on your activity online and, and vice versa. Uh, those who are only online, they can make some kind of change, uh, but the most crucial and important change, I think, uh, will come from those who are connecting the two, two, uh, two dots. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for chatting with us. I appreciate it, Sammy. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.